Hi, this is Fiona from Southbourne Library and I'd like to share with you another poem which is about a typical autumn activity, a fungi forays. And it's called Autumn's Vocabulary. I'm extending my vocabulary this autumn to gills and sap and stain and stipe. It's this fun guy I've living with me. Takes me spotty mushrooms, right? Well, I'm not partial to partaking, but he knows which one can eat. Lots of squirrels, bugs or maggots haven't nibbled up the lot. He points out which can give you belly ache, like some boars I know, and which are deadly poison and those he's not sure of. It's a fun game spotting mushrooms amongst the camouflage of fallen leaves and undergrowth and dog poo and tissues wherever you please. Don't let bramble scratches deter you. The names are really magical and I like to tick them off. Perhaps someone tried the magic ones before they made these up. Earth Star, Penny Bun, Destroying Angel, Panther Cat, Puff Ball. Ah, oh, a pink deflated dog ball. Now when I go out walking, I spot mushrooms everywhere. I stop and take a photo to show off what I've seen and bandy round my new learned terms like brittle gills or spongy or belete, but I can't yet be sure myself if they're good enough to eat. I spy them on the wooden floor or on trees or in the fields. I touch and feel and soak up words. Fungus fruiting bodies are my autumn yield.